After her breakout role in The Fall Guy, Heather Thomas was poised for big things in Hollywood. She had the looks, the talent, and the charisma to become a bona fide superstar. But as often is the case in the entertainment industry, the dark side of fame came knocking. Heather found herself the target of some seriously unhinged stalkers, and the constant harassment and threats took a major toll. Sadly, she made the difficult decision to step away from acting, choosing to prioritize her safety and well-being over the bright lights of Tinseltown. So let's dive into this and start from the beginning. Heather Thomas's journey into the limelight began at a remarkably young age. Born on September 8, 1957, in Greenwich, Connecticut, she is the daughter of Gladie Lou Ryder and Leon Thomas. Her mother, Gladie Lou Ryder, was a special education teacher in the Santa Monica Malibu Unified School District, while her father, Leon Thomas, worked as a dean in the California State University System. Heather's early exposure to the performing arts was evident as she started acting at just 14 years old, hosting a series on NBC titled Talking with a Giant. This early start was a precursor to a vibrant acting career that would soon unfold. Her academic pursuits were equally impressive. After graduating from Santa Monica High School in 1975, Heather continued her education at UCLA. Here, she not only joined the Chi Omega sorority, but also earned a degree from the School of Theater, Film, and Television, honing her skills in film and screenwriting. This period was pivotal as it laid the foundational knowledge and network that would support her future career in Hollywood. Heather Thomas's portrayal of Jodi Banks in The Fall Guy marked her breakthrough in Hollywood, catapulting her to stardom from 1981 to 1986. The series, co-starring Lee Majors, became a significant part of her acting portfolio, showcasing her talent in a mix of action and drama. Not only did the show feature thrilling stunts, but it also highlighted Heather's dynamic presence on screen, making it a memorable part of 80s television culture. The Fall Guy was more than just a stepping stone in Heather's career. It was a platform that showcased her versatility and charisma, which resonated with a wide audience. Her role involved numerous stunts, and during this time, Heather developed a deep respect for stunt performers, often advocating for their greater recognition within the industry. Heather Thomas's decision to leave the acting world was significantly influenced by distressing experiences with stalkers, which pushed her towards focusing more on her family and writing endeavors. In 1996, she became the target of a stalker named William Michael Simpson, who sent numerous unsettling letters and packages. This harrowing experience made Thomas increasingly protective of her personal life, influencing her to be more selective about the acting roles she would accept. The severity of the stalking escalated to a point where Thomas had to implement stringent security measures, which included taking out multiple restraining orders against various fans. One particularly alarming incident occurred when a fan, armed with a knife, managed to scale the fence of her property. Another disturbing episode in 1993 involved an unhinged individual showing up at her doorstep with a screenplay, further compounding her fears and anxiety. These continuous threats and violations of her privacy had a profound impact on her professional life, compelling her to eventually quit acting in 1998. By then, she had taken out as many as 45 restraining orders against overzealous fans. Post-retirement, Thomas channeled her experiences into writing, becoming a novelist, and advocating for stricter anti-stalking laws. Despite her success on screen, Heather also faced personal challenges. Her time at UCLA was marred by the beginnings of her struggle with illegal substances, a battle that intensified during the early years of The Fall Guy. Heather's personal life also saw significant milestones. She married Alan Rosenthal in uh, August 1985. Although the marriage was short-lived, this period of her life was further complicated by severe injuries from a car accident. The accident occurred while she was crossing San Vicente Boulevard, resulting in serious leg injuries that required extensive treatment. But in spite of this, she found lasting companionship with Skip Brittenham whom she married in October 1992. Finding new sources of income, 
Heather's creative expression took the form of writing. She penned a screenplay titled School Slut, which she successfully sold to Touchstone Pictures and published her first novel, Trophies, in April 2008. Heather Thomas continues to lead a dynamic and impactful life beyond her days in Hollywood. Most recently, she's made a notable appearance in the 2024 movie, The Fall Guy, reprising her role alongside Lee Majors in a cameo that delighted fans. This role was particularly special to her as she described the film as a love letter to stunt people, highlighting her ongoing admiration for their dedication. Aside from her occasional returns to the screen, Heather has been deeply involved in community and advocacy work. She regularly hosts a fundraising event known as the LA Cafe at her home, which supports various charitable causes. Heather's personal life is equally fulfilling. Residing in Santa Monica, she is married to entertainment lawyer Skip Brittenham, with whom she shares a daughter, India Rose. Heather is also stepmother to her husband's previous children, Shauna and Christina, and she has been a loving mother and stepmother to all three. Her passion for animal welfare remains strong. She has been involved in animal rescue for over five years and previously worked as a volunteer manager at Adopt and Shop. On social media, Heather maintains an active presence on X, where she engages with nearly 95,000 followers, sharing insights into her advocacy work and personal life. Her journey from actress to author to advocate is truly inspiring. As a fan of The Fall Guy and Heather's work from the 80s, yes, I too had her poster on the wall as a teenager, she captivated audiences with her talent, charisma, and undeniable screen presence, cementing her status as a true icon of that era. Yet her story also serves as a sobering reminder of the challenges and dangers that come with fame and success. Through it all, Heather has remained steadfast, using her platform to advocate for important causes and inspire others. Her willingness to confront the darker aspects of her experience, such as the stalking incidents, only serves to further highlight her courage and resilience. As we reflect on Heather's legacy, we are reminded that true greatness is not just about the accolades and achievements, but also the strength of character and the ability to overcome adversity. Heather Thomas's story is a testament to the power of the human spirit and a shining example of the heights that can be reached when one refuses to be defined by their challenges. Cheers to you, Heather Thomas. We still love you.